Governor Gretchen Whitmer cannot run for re-election, and lots of folks will likely seek the seat when she leaves office, and one of them could be Oakland County Democratic State Senator Mallory McMorrow. She clearly is interested in being governor, although publicly she has said nothing about this. Nonetheless, her team has looked at the pluses of a possible candidacy, and there are a few. For example, she has access to an impressive donor list, not from Oakland County, but nationwide. During a recent Senate debate last year on the gay rights issue, conservative Senator Lana Tice accused Ms. Mallory of wanting to, quote, groom and sexualize children. That was in an email campaign solicitation. Speaking directly to Ms. Tice, the senator delivered a fiery, passionate response. And when it hit the Internet, 15.2 million clicks. I am the biggest threat to your hollow, hateful scheme. I know who I am. I know what faith and service means and what it calls for in this moment. We will not let hate win. In the first 24 hours after that hit, 6,200 contributors sent a quarter of a million dollars to the senator's campaign. In over three months, 11,000 donors kicked in 1.3 million. Why is that important? If she decides to run for governor, she could go to that list for contributions. In addition, she got valuable nationwide media exposure as a result of the flap on cable TV and in the New York Times, all combining to skyrocket her name ID among voters in the state, just in case she decides to run for governor. With the governor unable to run, it's likely that mostly men, including perhaps Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan, might get in, leaving Ms. McMorrow is the only woman or among a few women who might run as well. Being female has a built-in voter advantage, especially in Oakland County where soccer moms helped to elect Governor Whitmer. Because voters have a habit of electing a governor and then voting for them again, Senator McMorrow knows that if she wants to run, it's either now or 11 years down the road. That's a long time, and that donor list could evaporate along with her name ID. So for the moment, no decision has been made, as the senator will take the next year to sort all this out. And while there are no bumper stickers yet, don't be shocked in 2026 to see one that reads McMorrow for governor. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.